Hey guys, it's VSG Tanya 2011. I'm coming in for my week 17 update. Um, I'll go straight to the numbers. Uh, before my two week uh, liquid diet prior to surgery, I was 272.8, my starting weight. Um, on the day of surgery, I was 255.6. That was on November 17, 2011. Last week, week 16, I was 201.4, that was for a total loss of 71.4 pounds, and this morning I was 202.5, so that was a gain of 1.1. So I'm totally down 70.3, and I kind of have mixed emotions about it. If, if I would have done this video first thing this morning, I would have said I was pissed, but it's not like it wasn't expected this week. N not that I did anything wrong, but... Um, I stayed at uh, a 201.4 for a few days, and then I kind of crept up and crept down and crept up. So, um, yeah, I, my food is where it's supposed to be. I'm doing fine with that. Sunday I had a bad water day. I didn't. I think I maybe had three glasses of water if that, but that was just a, a bad fluky day. Um, Everything else has been right on track. The only other thing that I haven't been doing is I haven't I only um, walked once this week, and that's because I thought I was having my arthritis issues with my left hip. <clears throat> but now I'm thinking I don't know if it was really arthritis or if it might have been sciatic pain. Um, but I did make myself go out in the neighborhood once this week just to see if I could work it out, and I feel like it did hurt the whole time I was walking. Not like excruciating, but like a pinched nerve, you know. And so. Um, but the last couple of days, it's felt better, so I might try and walk in the neighborhood, and you know, not going to the gym. Just because if I get to the, if I get all dressed and get to the gym, and I walk for ten minutes, and it's hurting real bad, and I gotta leave, I'll be irritated. So I figure if I walk in the neighborhood, I can easily just turn around and come back home, and I, I haven't put myself out that much. So I have to try and keep in mind that, you know, with my arthritis and joint issues that I've had since I was fifteen. Um, I can't always do what everybody else does and so I need to not compare myself to you know I see a lot of people who go to the gym five six days a week and one that doesn't work into my schedule but three days does and I can make that happen but if I'm having joint issues I'm having joint issues and I can't necessarily control that but I can control my food and that's the thing I always um, in the past have not done that if my joints started flaring up and things were hurting I gave up and I just said well you know piss on it then I'm not gonna worry about the food or the exercise I'm just gonna let, let it go but so I feel like I'm, I'm proud of the fact that I'm sticking with watching exactly what I'm eating and making the best choices and I feel like this week has been a strong week for me food wise so yeah I might be up 1.1 I'm also supposed to start my period. I was supposed to start today, and I didn't. So that tells me my system's still out of whack. I was, I think, last month I was like a week late, and um, nothing I can do about that. You know, I, I'm I'm a bit sad. Like the for the whole this whole month, I think I'm only down like seven and a half pounds. Which I mean, it's seven and a half pounds. So, I mean, that's good. But my my goal has always been to lose at least ten pounds a month, and I didn't do that this month and then so that kind of scares me like is it really is it slowing down and I'm at 202.1 is it 202.1 no 202.5 today it was 202.1 yesterday it's like I'm right here at Wonderland it's aggravating it's like my body does not want to let go of these two pounds to push me in, or three pounds to, to let me go into Wonderland, which makes me fearful that when I do get to Wonderland, am I going to stay there? Or am I going to bounce back up again? So it's like, I don't even know how much I'm going to celebrate. I've always felt like when I hit Wonderland, I was going to be so excited. And da, da, da. But now I'm like, I don't know. Like maybe I won't be so excited because I'll be afraid that in a couple of days I'll be back up again. So I, I don't know. Sugar. Sorry. Sugar. Come see. This is my dog, Sugar. She was my baby before I had babies because my husband and I um, tried for a couple of years to get pregnant and we couldn't. And this was our first little girl. So that's my Sugar Girl. Um, 
Okay, this weekend I'm going to make a video for my four month because uh, Saturday will be my four month surge anniversary. And so I'll do another um, video where I do the one month, two month, three month, four month um, pictures. And I'm also going to put pictures of me wearing um, the dress I wore Saturday night to that um, fundraiser. And I did, I, I, it was a silent auction that we went to and I won something. Last year when I went, I was too chicken and I didn't know, I, I didn't get the whole bid and think, sure, stop, stop. Um, I didn't get the whole bidding thing, but I won something at the auction. I was going to show y'all a couple of things that I got. It was a, a jet set, I think was the name of the package. But look, it's a, a Florida Lee suitcase, like a little travel size suitcase. I plan on using this when I go to Vegas. And a Florida Lee scarf, which I already have two, but you can't have too many Florida Lee scarves, right? Because we're from New Orleans. We need lots of Florida Lee scarves. Well, not, not we. I, I'm from New Orleans. Some sunglasses for my husband. Some Nautica sunglasses. Oh, and other stuff's in here. Oh, um, look, a, a laptop um, carry case. Another little travel thing. I got something for my son's room. He has the same steam in his room. and he, It's a hoodad home. Hoodad home. Hoodad. And a little bow for my daughter's hair. It's all in the little, in this little, little package. And a little a Florida Lee bracelet and little earrings, little Fleur de Lis earrings, of course. So, you know, I love Fleur de Lis, just like everybody else in New Orleans. But, so, I won that at the silent auction, and I got, actually got it for a steal. I know it's supposed to be like a charity thing, but I did get it for a steal. So, um, what else is going on with me this week? Um, the thing is, too, with even with being up 1.1 today, I feel smaller, like um, my pants, my size 16 pants are starting to get too big for me. It fits perfectly, fit, they all fit perfectly, or almost perfectly in the waist, like maybe slightly big in the waist, but the hips and the legs are, are really big. So I, I feel like I might be getting ready to move into a 14, but you know, I'm kind of afraid to try on a 14 because I don't want to be sad if they don't fit. So I've kind of been holding off. The dress that I wore this weekend was a 14, but my top half is smaller than my bottom half. And so, um, I don't know. Um, hey honey, sorry, my husband just came in. Um, one other thing I was going to show, I, I was, I'm running out of clothes and I definitely don't have any summer clothes, but I was in my closet and I, um, saw these shorts that I got when I was in high school. You know how you go to the beach and you get things airbrushed um, in the summertime? So I, I got these, um, I had these shorts and I'm like, oh, let me just try them on as a, as a goof, you know? They look so small, but they, they're snug, but they fit. So they're extra large. Let me see if I can. Well, I see it has my, my name airbrushed on there. See, I still got the Gucci stomach, wide, flat butt, but yeah, I'm like, cool. I haven't been able to wear these shorts probably since I was 16 or 17, so yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool thing this week. Um, oh, another good thing, the hair loss is slowing down, praise the Lord. The hair loss is slowing down. You know, I said in my last video, I, I know it's not going to stop, but I'd be happy if it just slowed down. It's slowing down. So it's more than it was before um, it really, like, vamped up. It's, so it's, you know, more than what it was normally, but it's a lot less than it was the last few weeks. So that makes me feel so much better. Um, I was, yeah. So I'm just, I kind of, like, am not stressing about that so much, and my hair is, like, thinner, but, yeah, thank the Lord, it's slowing down. Hopefully, if it stays like it is now, I won't be so worried about it so much. Um, anything else? Anything else going on? Thank you to all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. I, I forgot to... I forgot to say it in my last video because I'd actually recorded that video a couple of times, but I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate people knowing that people watch. I know a lot of people um, talked about a few things that I said in my video last week about the um, accepting compliments, and it it is so encouraging to know that we have support, that people are hearing what, what I'm saying, and that it, it they're, they're going through the same things that I'm going through, and I'm not crazy. They're not crazy. It's just this YouTube community means so much to me. So, And then Stayla today said something about um, 
I don't know if it was her doctor or her her trainer said something about um you know you stop losing weight sometimes because your body gets used to eating the same things over and over, and so uh, I'm gonna um kind of take that to heart and because I I know of course we all get into a rut where we're eating the same thing like I've had shrimp I can't I, every day this week twice today, um because it's just it's such a, a high protein low cal food how can you pass it up right. But I saw um, an old video from Banded Wendy from a couple of years ago, and she made this chicken tortilla soup. And so I, I put it as a favorite on, on my page if y'all want to look at it. I think I might try and make that this weekend. Nobody else in my family is going to eat it, but I'll probably just freeze half of it and then have the other half for like lunch or, or quick dinners during the week next week. So um, I'll let you know how it is, and um, you can check out her the video that I have favorited if you want to uh, see what the recipe is. But it looks like really simple. It's done in a crock pot and that's right up my alley I mean I like to cook but you know I don't have time to stand over a stove for hours and hours so um anyway I hope y'all have a nice St. Patrick's Day um we'll be going to the St. Patrick's Day parade on Saturday so I might take a few pictures and if they come out good I'll, I might add them to my um my four month video all right thanks for all your support guys I really appreciate it and I hope y'all have a great week so go out and make it happen because I will bye y'all